In order to assure that we could get all the drivers in the same exact plane, we had to curve the baffle so that now every driver is in the exact perfect plane with one another, meaning sound is getting to your ears at the same exact time. So that's kind of the story on the trip. The other important point though is the speaker becomes a point source. So it becomes extremely uh, focused and able to generate precision, a, a precision sound stage. In other words, in space, you'll hear sounds exactly where the engineer had intended you to hear them, very well defined. The tweeter is centered here in the cabinet between the drivers in this array. It's a diamond coated tweeter, super, super resilient. Um, it's coated with a layer of diamond carbon. It's a process that wasn't even available a decade ago in material science. It's called vapor deposition, so that's pretty cool. It gives it resilience, though, so that the breakup frequency, we can move well past the realm of human hearing. It, it breaks, the breakup frequency is 40,000 plus hertz, wow. whereas, you know, most humans can't hear past 20,000 hertz. So wow. this is well past the realm of human hearing. And, um, and the back of the cabinet is mirrored in its alignment with the, in its curvature to the front. Uh, and that's an important story as well, because it's a very room-friendly speaker. Um, the drivers in the array are force canceling one another. So they're literally eliminating vibration inside the cabinet, but then they're reinforcing one another outside the cabinet. So basically, and I'll do a two-channel demo. I'm not using subs by design. There will be no subwoofers during the two-channel demo, only during the multi-channel mm -hmm. home theater. And these speakers, I was playing them earlier, completely pressurized this room. People say, oh, you got the subs going, like, no subs. What? That's how low they are capable of reaching. Don't get me wrong, you can add a sub if you want, but you don't need a sub with these. Gotta always add a sub. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's it. So, so, so those are the three basic stories, is the time alignment, the diamond coated tweeter, and the force cancel array. So you got four active drivers, in this case, eight inch. And uh, by the way, the tweeter mid-range, these are five and a quarter inch mid-range drivers. They're in their own sealed sub That's enclosure. That's what I was just going to ask. Are the, the, I would assume that they're in their sealed sub. Yeah, they're in a sealed sub enclosure. It's a best practice. Yep. And then the drivers and the, the two uh, uh, dual opposing drivers basically use the rest of the cabinet volume. So there's, okay. there's no sharing of air to influence the performance of the mid-range drivers. Oh, that's in interesting. The so the, the dual opposed is using... The, the best of the cabinet. This is correct. Kind of one correct. One it's two one. speakers in a single cabinet, okay. and because of we the, because we have um, uh, curved this back, and using the dual opposing array, we actually correct room modes. So now you don't get dead spaces in low frequency response from the speaker. Sometimes you can get a lot of uneven sound patterns in a room. Right. These basically eliminate that artifact, which is pretty tremendous. Um, and so, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the, uh, listen, this is 